Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details about various kind of sheet metal cutting operations. So let us start with the sum of the introduction part of this theory. So in case of the sheet metal cutting operations, basically these press operations may be grouped into the two categories. So first one that will be related with the cutting operations and second one that will be the forming operations. So in case of the cutting operations, sheet metal it will be dividing into two or more parts or you can say that will be the permanent deformations by the cutting action onto the sheet metals. But in case of the forming operations, there is no cutting of the sheet metals, just it will be changing the final shape and size of the components or you can say our raw material that will be converting into desired shape and size by the plastic deformations. So in case of the cutting operations, the sheet metal is traced beyond its ultimate strength. Whereas in case of the forming operations, the stresses are below the ultimate strength of the metal. So in case of the cutting, you will work beyond its ultimate strength of the sheet metal. But in case of the forming operations, the stress that are below the ultimate strength of the sheet metal. Or you can say in case of the forming, just it will be the plastic deformations of the raw material. So let us start with the different kind of metal cutting operations. So in sheet metal cutting operations, the metal gets seared. Hence, these operations are also called as a shearing operations. So in these operations, the sheet metal that will be stressed beyond its ultimate strength that already discussing. So in case of the metal cutting operations, it will be considering as a blanking, punching, notching, perforating, slitting, lancing, saving, shearing and nibbling. Now we will discussing one by one of each operations. So let us start with the blanking operations. So in case of the blanking, just you can see the basic setup of blanking operations. So here that will be the green portions. It will be known as a die. So according to my required shape and size, the die material die shape is being used onto the die. It will be our sheet metal and this is our punch. So as per my requirement of the blank, I would like to select the die and the punch. So by the blanking force punch it will be from top to the bottom and the sheet metal it will be seared out according to that shape and size of the punch and die. So into the another figure just you can see this is my cross section of the die at this blank it will be my sheet metal. So by the cutting actions with the help of punch or you can say punch it will be having a downward motions. So such kind of part it will be sheared out. So this part or you can say this cut part it will be considering as a my required part or you can say my product. So that will be known as a blanking operations. So in case of the blanking or you can say punching the operation it will be having a similar way. But as per the requirement of the components I, I would like to differentiate both the operations. So if this blank it will be my required part. So it will be my blanking operations. In case of this waste part, it will be my required part. Then it will be considering as a punching operations. So later on we will discussing on to that also. So in case of the blanking, this blank it will be my required part. So these operations it will be known as a blanking operation. So blanking is the cutting operations of a flat metal sheets and the article punch out is known as a blank. So blank is the required product of the operations and the metal left behind is considering as a waste. But in case of this waste, it will be becoming my required part. So this operation it will be converting into punching. So now we will discussing the second and that will be punching or you can say piercing operations. So just you can see. So in case of the punching operation, the similar kind of action is being carried out. But in case of the punching, this cutted portion, it will be considering as a waste part. Now this sheet metal, it will be becoming my required part. 
so these operations it will be known as a punching so in case of the basic difference between punching and planking that will be depends upon your required product if this is my required so it will be becoming planking and if this is the sheet metal it will be my required product so it will be my punching so it is the cutting operations with the help of which holes of the various shapes are produced into the sheet metals and which is similar to the blanking only the main difference is that the hole is required product and the material punch out to form a hole is considering as a waste product after this we will discussing blanking and punching just you can see with the suitable example so here that will be the example of manufacturing of the washer so just you can see this is by starting stocks produced by the shearing operations from a big sheet metal so this is considering as a raw material for manufacturing of a washer so first of all with the help of die and punch just you can see with the help of this punch it will be making a such kind of blank from this sheet metal so this blank it will be now considering as my usable product and this sheet metal it will be considering as a waste product so according to that utilization or you can say my requirement of the product it will be having a punching or blanking so in this case this blank it will be my required product so it will be considering as a blanking operations so for manufacturing of the washer first that will be the blanking is carried out now just you can see this blank now it will be as my raw material so once again with the help of second punch it will be converting into desired shape and size so now in this second operations this blank now it will be considering as a scrap materials and this sheet that will be considering as my required product so this is my washer so this is my required product so this second operations it will be quite similar but as per my requirement of the product so this washer is my required product so now it will be becoming punching so this is the one of the best example for understanding the blanking and punching operations so in case of the washer first of all starting with the blanking operation and then it will be punching so it will be converting into the your desired product so blanking and punching are the similar sheet metal cutting operations that involve the cutting the sheet metal along a close outline if the part that is cut out is the desired product and the operation is called as a blanking and into the another way the product is called as a blank if the remaining stock is the desired part so this operation becoming as a punching so that we already discussing with this example after this now we will discussing with another example just you can see this is blank it will be my usable product so blanking if this is my usable product so it will be my piercing or punching now notching operations so just you can see this is my raw material made with the sheet metals now it will be converting into such kind of shape so the sheet metal it will be cutting from the outer sides so this is also considering as a blanking operations but in this full surface of the punch does not cut the metal so it will be known as a notching operations so in this operations the metal pieces are cut from the edges of the sheets only not from the center that's why it will be known as a notching operation after notching perforating operations so just you can see the figures so number of holes just you can observing into the sheet metals so it will be known as a perforating operations but it will be having uh, some characteristics and that will be you can see so it is the similar to the piercing but the difference is that to produce the holes the punch is not found into the round shape so it will be triangular square rectangular or any other kind of shapes and number of holes it will be producing into similar pattern so it will be known as a perforating operation 
so in this process the multiple holes which are very small and close together are cut into the sheet metal after perforating now we will discussing with the slitting operations so just you can see with the help of upper knife and lower knife and in between these two cutting edges the work piece is being passed and according to that rolling action of that upper knife and lower knife the metal it will be dividing into two surfaces so it is the one kind of operation of making an unfinished cut through a limited length only when the shearing is conducted between the rotary blades the process is referred as a slitting process so it cuts the sheet metal lengthwise according to my requirement of the shape and size after this it will be my lancing operations so just you can see the two kind of combination of the operations it will be performing onto the sheet metals so here in a figure number a this is my cutting operations and bending operations in case of the this b and c the two types of cutting and as well as the forming operations so as per my requirement i would like to use the lancing operations so in this operations there is a cutting of the sheet metal through a small length and bending the small cut portion with your downwards in second one it is also known as a combination of the cutting and bending or you can say cutting and forming operations performing in one steps to partial separate the metals from the sheets so such kind of applications it will be used into the air vents for the heating or cooling applications as well as into the air conditioning systems into the buildings after lancing now we will discussing with the shaving operations so just you can see this is my die material the component it will be resting onto the die and one side it will be the motion from the punch it will be cut into desired shape and size so this is the operations that will be used for cutting the unwanted excess materials from the periphery of the previously work workpiece material so in this process the very small amount of the material is be removed after this shearing operations so it is the process of the cutting a straight line across a strip sheets or the bar shearing process has the three important stages first one it start with the plastic deformations so in case of the plastic deformations no material can once again regain in its original shape so you can say that it will be one kind of permanent deformation of the material so the component never come in into your original shape that is the permanent deformation or you can say plastic deformation so after the plastic deformations there will be the fracture or you can say dividing your component into two or more surfaces and third one that is the important one shear so now we will discussing these operations the first one that is the die onto the die work piece is resting and one side there will be the movement of the punch and this work piece it will be converting into two or more surfaces or parts so in between these two there will be the some clearances there so first step that will be my plastic deformations so once the punch it will be into the downward motion so work piece material having a plastic deformations it never regain in its original shape or you can say permanent deformations after some exceeding punching force now it will be converting into the fracture so due to the shearing it will be having a cutting actions onto the sheet metal so when the metal is placed between the upper and lower blades of the shear and the pressure is applied so first of all plastic deformation of the metal take place that we already discussing as the pressure is continued or you can say increasing more the fracture or you can say the crack propagations or you can say crack starts at the cutting edge of the blade because of the stress concentration or so many things are there as the blade descends further the small fractures meet the metal is then sheared out so the shearing is the perform either by using the hand 
or by using the machines also that will be depends upon my resources after the shearing operation nibbling so just you can see the nibbling operations onto the sheet metal this is the operations is generally substitute for the blanking operations it is designed for cutting out the flat parts from the sheet metals then these flat parts range from the simple to complex contours that will be depends upon my requirements it is used only for the small quantities of the components it is an operations of the cutting any shape from the sheet metal without using the special tools so that is the most important part for the nibbling operations you can use the normal punch and die and you can converting such kind of geometry onto the sheet metals so it is done on a nibbling machines then trimming operations so i think it will be the very simple operations you can remove the unwanted part of the sheet metals just you can see this is the die this is my trim blank and trim steel pass and this is my holding pressure so with the help of this trim tool or you can say trim steel tool it will be used to cut down wanted parts so it is the operation of the cutting away the excess metal in a flange or you can say flash from the piece i hope you understand these all operations if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you